take off, Colonel. Welcome back. We are defending the Behemoth once again, and this mission bears quite a few similarities to Kurosawa Sector Mission 2 in the original Wing Commander. By that I mean we are defending a Confederation capital ship, which sighted, is not going to shoot back. We are defending it against four Kogathi heavy bombers, which, despite their current firing at nothing, do possess enough firepower to kill the ship quite rapidly. But unlike Kura 2, we don't have the option of using our afterburners to get to this engagement point before we're supposed to, and thereby gain some time. So the only real chance you have of actually preventing the behemoth from going down against the first wave is by getting lucky with what your wingman does. You do have the advantage compared to Kurosawa that your fighter is capable of destroying at least the first wave of bombers quite readily because of the four missiles the arrows carry. But that is a relatively minor advantage given that the Pactans also have torpedoes. And indeed that's my problem here. I've killed all four bombers but the torpedo the last Pactan launched is enough to take down the behemoth. It wouldn't have mattered even if it wasn't, because there's another way, then another way, then another way. This mission is unwinnable, as you might guess from the fact that there's a cutscene of the behemoth exploding. And now Thrakath is turning up to Glad. Also that notable here is my current position relative to Thrakath. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. You have slain many of my finest fighters during your career. You have earned this. As compared to where he is now after the cutscene. Also, you. Thrakath obviously wants us to fight him now. We can do that, but as Roland's about to explain, it's not a very clever idea. Colonel, be advised that the victory's pulling out of the system immediately. We need you to return, sir. Jump point in 90 seconds. You and I keep have unfinished business. Now I give you the chance. If you are a true warrior, you will take the challenge. You will see on your radar I have sent my wingman off. The ancient test of courage is ours to engage in. Colonel, you have 75 seconds. The heart of the tiger continues to weaken. He did not protect his lair mate. Now he hesitates in combat. Colonel, if you don't turn around and land now, you'll be left behind. Need clearance, TCS victory. Colonel, we also had access to Thrakus transmission regarding Colonel Devereaux. My condolences, sir. I'm sure glad you didn't let him suck you into that lose lose dogfight. As Rollins says, if we turn and fight Thrakath, the victory will probably jump out. It is just about possible on Rookie when Thrakath doesn't dodge your missiles to kill him and make a jump. But it's not worth it because there's no effect that Thrakath's 
being shot down here has on the game, he'll show up again later regardless. And being left behind doesn't trigger a special cutscene or anything, you just left in empty space and have nothing to do but restart. Anyway, we're done here, thanks for watching. I've been Elan and this has been Wing Commander 3, Heart of the Tiger, and join me next time for the hardest mission in the game.